Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I thought, well, I've painted on the toilet seat. What about through a toilet roll? So, <laughs> why not? Let's give it a go. Um, I'm going to paint on this record and I'm going to be painting with blues and greens and um those sorts of colors so i'm not really worried about the color of the uh, label coming through if you are worried about the color of your label coming through then there's a few different options you can do you can um what's that thing called paint <laughs> i just use just plain mars black black and paint over it and then let it set for at least two weeks so that the this paint is completely set and will not reactivate prior to using it um, and prior to pouring on it. Another option is to, um, you know, really soak it. And if, if it's a paper one, this one actually feels more like it's painted. It's not actually um, a paper one. But if it's a paper one, you can soak it and scrub it and get the all the paper off. Um, but whatever you do before you start pouring paint onto here, you need to block off that hole. Otherwise you're going to lose all your paint down the hole and you're going to have a big mess on the table and nothing on the record. <laughs> How's it getting any better than that? So, being a tidy kiwi and put my sellotape away. Um, so I just use standard parcel tape, you know, a little wrapping paper tape. Um, and just pick a side. I'm actually going to cover the hole on side one of this because this used to have somebody's little name tag sticker on here, which I peeled off so that their um, their privacy can be and I'm going to paint on side two. So goodbye, Catherine. Farewell, adieu. All right. I have a tiny, tiny, small amount of mixed up um, deep turquoise. And it's not enough to tip it out of the tin, but it is enough to sort of taint whatever goes near it. So I'm going to use this tin to pour from. And the colours I'm using today are silver, copper, um, viridian hue, and titanium white. So let's have a look at what we can create here. Um, I'm going to pour some white in. I'm going to pour some Iridian Hue in and some Copper Oh, alright and some Silver I just realised what I had planned to do was just to have the toilet roll sitting on on there and pour the paint into that like I'm pouring it into the tin but that's not going to work but that's okay pouring from higher gives it more force as it hits the ground so it um, mixes more And there we go. I have no idea if any of that has silicon in it. That's really funny. I'm pretty sure the turquoise did. The silver might. Not sure about the viridian hue. So, what I'm going to do is tip it all out of here into our tube which I'm holding down nice and firmly 
Yep, there's definitely some silicon in there. There's some cells in the pot. just gonna scrape that out so we get some of that turquoise oh it's escaping and then I'm just gonna hold it up so it mooches its way out Smooches is a uh, very technical term. What does it mean? It means runs out dragging the sides. That's what I'm calling it. Mooching. And I really don't like this middle bit, so I'm going to Create a different reality in there. Just making a little. Now I'm noticing that this is not even. It's not sitting nice and straight. But we've definitely got some silicon cells come through. So I'm going to use my torch. This is just a little cheap creme brulee torch that I refill from a butane refill thing you know those lighter refill canisters and I'm just popping the air bubbles slightly warming the paint to bring the silicon to the top I think I need to get a new one of these And let's just have a look and see what it does. Let's see if it runs out to the edges all on its own. Or are you guys too impatient for that? Seeing a few more air bubbles that I want to get rid of. Getting rid of the air bubbles at this early stage does two things. One, it um, makes them pop and create more of a um, design. But secondly, if you just leave them to sit there and dry, they will actually end up making ugly holes in your paint when it dries. All right. Okay, I've had enough of torching. It's time to tilt. Yay! So my first tilting, I tend to just go right around to the edges. And then see if there's parts that I don't like. So if I know it's completely covered, then I've got complete choice where I go from there. If you start tilting bits you don't like off, you may run out of paint. Don't think that's going to be a problem today. All right. I actually like that just the way it is, to be honest. I'm glad I smeared that middle piece. It looks pretty cool. So toilet rolls are great painting tools. <laughs> How does it get any better than that? 
what else from the bathroom could you use now why am i talking about bathrooms and toilets and toilet rolls um because this month is september and september is bathroom month in the acrylic pouring for you um challenges and acrylic pouring for fun challenges um every month we pick a topic and you can choose to participate or not but um basically this month is in for or through the bathroom so this is a through the bathroom and in a previous video i have poured on the lid of a toilet seat i have poured on soap dispenser um so i've had had a bit of fun so far and as i was changing the toilet roll the other day i went oh toilet roll that's one i haven't done so there we go guys um i am pretty stoked with that that's pretty 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 so shall i get you down and show you it up nice and close and personal <laughs> all right how cool is that i like it so let's go into that centerpiece first off so that was created by me scraping out the pot into the toilet roll and then smearing my finger around it but there is definitely some silicon in these look at these cells aren't they amazing I am loving them. They are yummy. You know, this colour combination is a colour combination I would wear, even though it is green. Look at that cell there. So pretty. This is copper, so it's going to come out looking fabulous. Ooh, that's a funky looking cell. Come on. Wow. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, as with all acrylic pouring, because we mix so much medium and with our paintings paints you've got to be aware that it's going to dry darker so let's see how it dries and you guys don't have to wait here it comes in three two one a moment silence please tragedy struck this morning when one of my tins bounced out of my hand and made a mess. <laughs> I really, really like this piece, and so I'm actually a bit annoyed immensely at myself for knocking over the um, tin, and it's left this big giant dent here, and then smooshed and yickied through there. So I'm really annoyed at that. So I will be doing another pour similar colors um, and similar style and see what magic I can create again and see what else is possible with the toilet rolls but there you go guys I had fun making it and it looked amazing until I destroyed it um, so what fun can you have what magic can you create and what else is possible if you keep choosing to create fun and joy and happiness because you know what although i've destroyed this painting i'm annoyed at myself and i'm choosing greater what else is possible how much more fun can i have what else can i create so what else can you create in your life and living and paintings and how much fun can you have doing it i adore you all come join us on acrylic pouring for fun check out my other videos subscribe for future videos and hey if you love one of my paintings obviously not this one because it's going in the bin 
but if you love one of my paintings and it doesn't have sold in the name of the video then touch base let's see what sort of deal we can do what magic can we create together i adore you all have fun bye bye